All right, guys, we're launching off beautiful Pensacola Beach with the Torquedo motors. I'm gonna go out here and try to catch some fish. You can see the conditions are flat, calm today. We've had north wind for a couple days. Surf's laid down real nice. It's uh, just past noon. We're gonna get out here and do some trolling, try to catch some live bait. All right, we're out in 21 feet of water and... Out here catching cigar minnows. Catching bait. We got a couple good ones, some small ones that we can use to pitch at mahi or blackfin or stuff like that. But we got some good trolling ones for king mackerel, but uh, they're lit up on my fish finder. That's what I'm doing is just looking at a normal sonar. I see the school of bait dropping the sabiki rig down to the bottom and uh, slowly reeling it up. And you can see as soon as it hits the bottom, they're already on. And just kind of slow wind it in to keep them on. One of the most important things too is when you hook them, Bring them right over your kayak so if they shake off, they're going to shake off and fall in your kayak, not in the water. Because sometimes bait can be very scarce, scarce out here and you, uh, you want to make sure you capitalize on every one you catch. Man, every drop too. We need to get back. Some of these smaller ones were, I want some bigger ones, but it's all right. They're just, it's like they're hovering under me. size one two good size ones right there so this is the size we're really looking for right here this uh cigar minnow these are really hardy too so they stay alive really good in the live well and they stay alive trolling um if i can get the hook out but you see it's a little bit hand, about hand size perfect size so you got spanish, spanish. <laughs> I was showing Jeff how to work this bait and one slammed it on the way in. A little Spanish mackerel. Not a bad one too. Tell me about the bait and why we, we have these, these little guys tied on. So this is the Savage Gear squid jig. And uh, you know, there's a lot of squid around here uh, and almost all the fish that we're fishing for eats this type of bait. And uh, so it's it's good when we see mahi, we can throw little squids at them. That's kind of like a preferred bait of mahi. So it's just a little sling jig that looks like a squid. And like I said, a little Spanish slammed it on the way in. So I'll let this little guy go. All right, I got one of our cigar minnows on a king rig on one side and uh, we're gonna try try a bait that's familiar to me with uh, fishing for striper that Yozuri crystal flash you know we're gonna troll that see what we get into what speed do we go Brandon probably around one and a half two mile an hour yeah I saw something jump, but I couldn't tell what it was because I caught the last glimpse of it. Nice king mackerel. Okay. How am I handling him? So just kind of bring him, circle him back around to you and get his tail. And just grab his tail. Don't right. grab around his head. Tail grab him. I'm going to move some things out of my way. And then obviously if you lay him down in your kayak, you want to put the head away from your feet. That very sharp teeth. I was throwing it. Some fish just on the surface. Like that you want to keep bringing him around so his tail like kind of comes up on the surface and then you can just grab him hmm. circle him back around kind of there you go he's right there you got it all right cool all right Ooh. that's cool pulls a lot of drag really quickly really fast 
and all that's in him is that that one rear hook in the corner <clears throat> and he's out and I think now I got the I had the treble hook on the other corner gotcha I had both hooks in them so now, that's an effective rig if you take your hand can I put them on the boga just to handle them or not yeah I, I, what I would do which is really cool to do is stick your hand right here look and pull down in between his two gills you see that you can you, you don't have to do it but if you do that yeah it will uh, open its mouth so it's like kind of cool but you can just do that you know what I'm gonna just get him back in there yeah that's cool there he goes Go down, have to buddy. he might be good but if not you might have to dart him down okay look to your right see that was he's... fun I don't see him yeah I think he, he swam down that was a really fast fight like it just the first two runs I mean it was I, I know before this trip I, I asked Brandon like what do I need in terms of gear and you said a 5,000 size reel 40 pound braid and just just to have all that capacity it did well it, it ran it halfway down though yeah just no that problem. capacity makes a big difference you know that was fun you know they call big big king mackerel smokers yeah and the reason why they call them smokers because they smoke your drag because right. they just have lightning flat fast runs that so. was cool man that was on this rig with you know the cigar minnows we caught this morning yep that's just a hand tied seven strand king rig that has a, a j hook up front and then a treble hook as a stinger in the rear with a, a pink and blue skirt very cool all right so Unfortunately, our bait is, has died, but we will uh, just use the dead bait. I'm hooking them under the chin and right there. Okay. And then it got both of them. I mean, he really, that fish had that in the corner of the mouth and this on the opposite cheek. So he must have T-boned it, I think. Uh, but I'm lining this up. I tell you, I had a very similar rig that Chuck Earls taught me for nightcrawler harnesses up on uh, Lake Erie for the walleye. Big difference though. The walleye don't pull drag like that. <laughs> the walleye kind of, I don't know, it's a much slower, slower fish. It's also, it's also very important to have a soft tip rod and have your drag very loose because their hits are so fast. If they, if you had a you know stiff rod or your drag tight, as soon as they hit it, it would rip them hooks right out of the side of their face. Because a lot of times they just hit it so fast that it gets on the side of their face. So having so, light drag and a, a soft tip rod really helps. Yeah, this is not a super soft tip rod, but it's but um, the drag is, I don't know, it was appropriate. Let's do that again, man. Let's do it. So the Torquedo throttle does a number of things. This is how I control my speed. I push it forward to go faster and back it off and then I can put it in neutral or if there's even a reverse. But I'm going to keep it in a slow forward speed and I'll show you one safety feature that's that's pretty cool. Should I fall out of the boat, uh, this magnetic switch is is actually attached to my my life jacket here. If I fall out, that uh, that keeps keeps the boat from zooming off without me let me get back to to motoring along um, right now I'm using it looks like 29 watts and I'm going almost two mile an hour and at that that rate of you know battery use I got about 60 some miles of, uh, of range this number here second from the top is it always calculates and it, it automatically changes uh, based on the the conditions and how much power you're using I'm going to use up a little bit more increase that watt draw from wherever it was 
I'm, I'm using about 85 now. And that number, that remaining range number dropped into the mid 20s. In any case, you always know your remaining range displayed right on the throttle, uh, along with battery percentage, your speed, and your watt draw. All of it right there. All right, I heard, uh, I heard Brandon call out, fish on real loud, so I'm zooming, giving it full speed to catch up and show you what we got. What you got? Gotta be a game. It stripped off half my, you know, half the spoil, and I got uh, 7,500. So I had to chase him down a little bit. He feels pretty. Yeah, I so. saw you moving. Probably a pretty big king. Feels pretty happy. How many Plus, runs have you had? Just one big run, and then I pretty much chased him down. Here he is, right here. Woo! He about went straight down into everything. Now, what were you saying about pinching underneath, uh, uh, underneath the chin or something? What does that, so, what does that do? So, if you want a really cool picture, you grab in between, in between the gill plates and right under its mouth, you can pull down and really open their mouth up and get a really cool picture of their teeth. Huh? Opens up their mouth. Yeah, just tickle them in the right spot, huh? Yep. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and let this guy go. The best way to release king mackerel is just a straight dart to the water so they can just jolt off. And there he goes. He's moving. Nice catch, man. This area is it, though. These are fun. We found we found some schools, some bait schools out here, and seems like that's where these fish are kind of con congregating around these bait schools. Everywhere I've went around this area, I've seen a bunch of bait schools on the bottom, so it's definitely the spot for them. They're chewing. Yep. Another king. Oh, you got another king. Beautiful fish. That's Look at those teeth. I don't think those teeth are. <laughs> on a lure. Is that a sail? I got a sail on. It's a sail. It's a sailfish. It's a little sail. Hooked up with a sailfish. Let me get him unhooked. Get you off of there. Get you back to where you came from. Back in the water. Oh, there he goes. 
I've had a fun afternoon out here. I appreciate you taking me out here and uh, showing me a few things. We got this amazing sunset to enjoy here right at the end of the day. Yeah, we got on a nice little bite right there before dark. King mackerel, I hooked a sailfish. We, we got a couple king mackerel, a Spanish mackerel. So the bike kind of turned on. We found some bait and was able to catch a couple fish. Pretty fun. Well, I enjoyed it. Thanks, bud. No problem. If you wanted to get in touch with uh, with Brandon to book a trip, what's uh, what's your website? Just check out www.emeraldwaterskayakcharters.com. Emeraldwaterskayakcharters.com. Got it. And you can check me out on Facebook and YouTube and Instagram at Emerald Coast Kayak Fishing. Cool. All right. Let's zoom in there. <laughs>